Hello seekers, welcome to Puneet's Astrology, your one-stop astro channel. This video is a very short video for an event that will happen from today until you can say till 17th of July. But the focus will be only on Mars when it is in the Cancer Zodiac sign until 1st of July. And the reason why I'm making this video is because if you observe that Mars is with Venus in the final pada of Ashlesha Nakshatra, the last pada, last quarter. Therefore, Mars uh, is in uh, Pisces Navamsh. Uh, but if you see the angle between Mars, Ketu, Saturn and Sun, you will be surprised to see some unique formation. Let's discuss on that. Mars has 8th aspect on Saturn. I already made a video beforehand that Mars 8th uh, aspect on Saturn is making Mars and Saturn, Saturn which is in Aquarius, going to Shadashtak, 6-8 formation. But when Mars is in Karkarashi, Mars 4th aspect was falling on Ketu. Now, on 26th, Ketu will move to Chitra Nakshatra. There's a Nakshatra Parivartan of Ketu. And when Ketu goes in Chitra Nakshatra, Ketu starts affecting Mars. Now you see the, the dilemma here. Mars is aspecting Ketu with the fourth aspect. Ketu and Mars are more like weapons and soldier, a warrior and, and, the, and the sword. And when Ketu goes in the Martian Nakshatra, it kind of triggers the fourth house of Mars. Mars starts to become uh, you know, starts to become more and more aggressive. The desire will somehow increase multiple times. And this is the time when a lot of people will have this, uh, this dilemma, whether to achieve or to give up. The reason being Ashlesha Nakshatra. Ashlesha is a strong reptilian Nakshatra. I made a video on Mars transit in Ashlesha. But when Mars goes into the final Pada, that is when Mars enters the Gandanta region. And uh, soon Mars will enter the zone of deep debilitation a couple of days later. And, and, and this is the time when Mars peaks into the negative energy. There will be a sudden spike in the negative energy. And uh, this negative energy will result into lack of action, lethargy, uh, frustration. Uh, you, you, you are putting your energy into tamasic activities, uh, negative activities, therefore giving you negative results because it becomes your karma. So don't let these negative energies of Mars translate into negative karma. Uh, also, Jupiter is now in Bharani Nakshatra with Rahu. Although though Jupiter and Rahu are separating, but still, still Jupiter is in 10th from this Mars and uh, Mars for whom 10th house is very important, like for soldier battlefield is important. Uh, for a for a professor, college is important. For a scientist, lab in the office area is important. For a sports person, field is important. So for Mars, 10th house is important. When Jupiter goes there, it sparks creativity. Bharani is Jupiter. But see the arrangement. Saturn is retrograde so Mar from the 8th from Mars. So the Shani wants to extract some secrets. Mars in Ashlesha is doubting everybody. It's in a territorial conflict. We are seeing what's happening in the world. Weird news, weird war patterns, uh, weird alignments between countries, never seen before, achievements. This is all a result of this Mars and Venus. Everybody in speculation, it puts your mind into constant thought process. And uh, the planet that is playing a vital role here is Mercury. Buddha, which is the Lord of Ashlesha, is actually 12th from Mars. And if you put Mars on the Ascendant, the Cancer Zodiac sign as Ascendant, Sun will also fall in the 12th house. This is not a good position. Whenever you will find Sun 12th from Mars, it means the king is far away from the soldier and the chain of command is lacking uh, you know, proper, proper reaction time and Mars might react weirdly. So what should you do or what should you expect? You can expect uh, weird reactions from life. You can expect people around you behave in a very different way than you have anticipated. You can expect 
uh, situations in life being disturbing, uh, somewhat uncontrolling. For people who have afflicted moon might experience depression. So it is better that you maintain this energy through proper physical activity, eating sattvic food, constantly taking the name of Bhagavan Hanuman by chanting Om Ham Hanumate Namah. Om Ham Hanumate Namah. This chant or Hanuman Chalisa. And when Mars is crossing Ashlesha and Magha Nakshatra Gandanta, and it will enter the Leo phase of life, this will trigger a lot of changes, especially for Aries and Scorpio Ascendant and Moon Sign Native, as well as uh, Cancer Ascendant and Moon Sign Natives. But wherever is your Cancer Zodiac sign, you will have to protect that particular Zodiac. For people who have Cancer in 6th, 8th or 12th house, should be very, very careful. Like for example, Sagittarius Ascendant, Leo Ascendant, and uh, Aquarius Ascendant native should be careful because Saturn, um, this Mars either falls in the 6th, 8th or 12th. So you will have to take great care of your health as well as your relationship will go for a toss. You will not be allowed to settle down. The energies will be highly disturbing. And the best way to handle this energy is surrender to the cosmos and not do anything at all. Because it is like there are constant ripples and sometimes when the water on the surface is disturbed, you just have to let it be. Slowly the disturbance will fade away while you focus your mind into something that is creative. People involved into healing practices will see tremendous amount of growth and something new will also come. It's not always negative. It might also be a problem trying to push your point of view into a different direction, a direction that you have never seen before, which will result into something unique that you always ran away from. So this Mars will make you face your fear and will make you fight that battle. So focus on God and be productive and creative. That was a quick message I wanted to share while Mars is in the sign of Cancer. Thank you. Please subscribe my channel. For consultations, you can drop me an email. We'll meet you in the next video. Till then, Namaste.